Hey guys, thanks for checking out yet another Noble video. Today we're going to be installing our new Noble grill. So this grill is super aggressive. It's a great upgrade from stock. It's going to give the front end a whole new look and it pairs perfectly with our gloss front lip. So this is going to be a great mod for you guys if you're looking to increase the front end aesthetics of your vehicle. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start getting this thing installed. To install this Noble front grill, we are going to have to remove the front bumper. If you want an exact in-depth video on how to do that, you can actually check out our front lip video that goes over that entirely. Uh, so I do have some concerns about it fitting with the Grimspeed front mount intercooler. It's a very thick core and it does come up into the grill. So it may not fit, we're gonna find out today, uh, but if it fits with the Grimspeed front mount, it should clear all front mounts. So uh, we're gonna find out here together and uh, either way, we're going to show you how this thing looks. Okay guys, so behind the bumper you're going to see a series of Phillips head screws. We're going to go ahead and remove all of those screws and then I'll show you what to do next. So once you get all those Phillips head screws out, you're, you are going to notice that there's going to be a lot of little clips all around the grill on the bumper. The first thing you want to do is pull off this bracket. So we're going to basically put in a flat head or any kind of like flat tool to push this in and pull out. Sometimes you're going to have to do it for both of these. Sometimes it just kind of comes out. Then you're going to do the other side. And after you get the other side, this whole piece will come off. After that piece is off the top, you can probably just use your finger and push in these tabs on the bottom while pulling out on the grill. You see how it's coming loose? We're just going to do that all along the bottom. Push up while you pull out and you can see how that just pops right out. So once you have that old grill out, we can take this new Noble grill and slide it into place just like that. Now we're gonna go on the back side and secure it. So you are gonna notice our new Noble grill comes with a set of screws like this. These are essentially the same screws, but they are a little bit longer, so it's gonna to help to anchor down that grill. The screw is gonna go through a little bit longer, so it has more to bite onto. But we are going to take our stock bracket and push this back into place while holding on the grill from the outside to ensure you don't push it out and damage it. So after we have our factory clip back in, there's gonna be a series of holes that you're gonna rerun these new bolts through. And there's going to be a couple new holes in this new grill that weren't there for OEM, but you're going to be able to see those and put the screws through those. So we're going to start in one corner. Again, you can kind of push in on the grill to get the hole started. Just like that. Here you can see we have all of our screws in place and we are just about good to go. Then I would pick up all your factory bolts and put them in this bag that we gave you the new hardware in and put this somewhere safe that way you're not running over any screws and getting flat tires or anything like that. If your bumper ever doesn't want to go on, a lot of times it's in the middle where these tabs are. You adjust that and it'll, it'll work its way down. All right guys, there we have it. The Noble front grill is installed. As you can see, we have fog lights in the grill, we have hella horns in the grill, and we have this massive Grim Speed front mount intercooler, and this fit perfectly in front of all of that. So you're gonna be good to go with whatever you got in your grill, you should be fine. Just look how much more aggressive that looks. Even compared to the JDM style grill we had in there before, huge improvement over your factory grill. And you can always still put an emblem in there if you would choose so, but I think it looks great without one. It looks very clean and very aggressive. 
So one more time guys, you can see just how well our Noble Performance grille pairs with the JDM style front lip that we sell. All right guys, so this is the Noble Grill installed. Fairly simple install, nothing to stress about there. And it's really gonna make that front end of your car look so much more aggressive and a little more modern, you know, and, and kind of theme it out a little bit with the gloss black here. So uh, again, it does clear the front mount intercooler, the hella horns, all that, so no worries there. Uh, that's gonna be it guys. So I appreciate you checking out the video. Make sure you subscribe to see all of our future installs and keep up to date on our new products. And uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.